Was there almost a plan for a new actor to play T'Challa after Chadwick Boseman's tragic death? 2020 saw the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman. The T'Challa actor died from colon cancer months before Black Panther Wakanda Forever was set to begin production. In light of the tragedy, Marvel Studios postponed the highly anticipated sequel, giving the cast and crew time to grieve over the late actor and decide on next steps. Director Ryan Coogler and Marvel Cinematic Universe architect Kevin Feige ultimately decided not to recast the role of T'Challa, a decision that led to mixed reception from some fans. He was king and Black Panther to everyone. While some fans petitioned the studio to recast the King of Wakanda, Marvel VP of Development Nate Moore made it very clear. T'Challa would not be seen on screen again out of respect for Bozeman. He revealed on the Ringiverse podcast in November 2021, months after Wakanda Forever had started production, when Chad passed, it was a real conversation we had with director Ryan Coogler about what do we do, and it was a fast conversation. It wasn't weeks, it was minutes of we had to figure out how to move that franchise on without that character. Because I think we all feel so much of T'Challa and the MCU on the screen is tied to Chadwick's performance. The marketing for Wakanda Forever has directly confirmed that T'Challa has passed in-universe, though it remains to be seen how Coogler and co-writer Joe Robert Cole tackle it. Scrapping away the original idea for the Black Panther sequel may have been difficult. But from the rave social media reactions Wakanda Forever has received, it seems that Coogler has delivered another winner. But while Moore emphasized how quickly the decision had to be made, Ryan Coogler has confirmed that he considered recasting T'Challa at one point. The director recently appeared on Marvel Studios' Wakanda Forever, the official Black Panther podcast, to discuss the sequel. The nearly 40-minute long chat dived deep into the world of Wakanda, how the Marvel Cinematic Universe has evolved, and how Chadwick Boseman's death influenced and changed the sequel. The conversation eventually led to the director being asked to discuss the significance and responsibility of a new actor taking on the role of Black Panther. Coogler candidly replied, You consider everything. When something like that happens, it's like, I don't think I can come back and make another one. I don't think I can do this. I don't think there should be another one. You go through all of the extremes. Getting emotional, Coogler confirmed that recasting was considered an option before opening up about why the thought of recasting dissipated. And it all boils down to being honest and seeking out the truth. He continued by opening up about how his job as a director is to spend hundreds of days convincing his cast and crew to believe in ideas that he finds truthful. I have to believe in something enough to go convince other professionals to believe in it as well for an extended period of time. Expanding on that sentiment, Coogler explained how his responsibility is to weed out anything in the film or creative that screams, quote, nope to him. I have to have a fighting chance of putting something out in front of the audience, that the audience can believe in and not be taken out of for two hours. They have to believe in some kernel of truth that's happening on the screen. In the pursuit of his truth, which shaped Wakanda forever, Coogler was clear about one thing. Chadwick's gone from the physical sense. He wasn't walking through that door. He was the guy. Coogler recognized that if he himself didn't believe in the idea of recasting T'Challa, there was no truth in his vision. For somebody else to be him, for us in the world that we created, we wouldn't have believed it. No matter how good the actor was, it would have been lacking the necessary truth for us to do a good job. It sounds like the idea of seriously recasting Bozeman's iconic role wasn't the path that Coogler was interested in going down. The writer-director had some more fond words for the dearly departed actor, saying, Our truth was lost, which is a fact of life. It's the gift and the curse of life. Heroes, great men, die.